Hello, I'm Omar Macy. Thank you for joining me out here at Copperopolis, California. This is the Snake Pit, and we're here with the uh, great guys from Calaveras Tactical. All right, so today we're just gonna basically be shooting some of the guns that we showed in, uh, in the safe, proving that they're not safe queens. Um, and definitely we come out here to reflect and see what new, new things we can add to our paintball and training system. So, all right, uh, we're just gonna go through basically every platform, see what it is, and just, uh, do some shooting. Cool. So this is a Kaiser KR7. This is a 7.62 by 51, uh, basically AR-based uh, rifle. Again, it's uh, lightest in its class. It has a forward, forward charging handle. Uh, just you know, something to look at over here. So let me start with this one. Okay, so we're gonna continue with the HK USP 45 caliber. Uh, again, this is a great pistol. I really enjoy it. Uh, I've had the uh, Glock 21 also in 45 caliber. I personally personally prefer this one, so we're gonna go ahead and take some shots with this one now. All right, so next we're gonna be shooting the SIG 229, chambered in 40. It's one of my favorite right here, so. So next we're doing a Springfield Armory 45 cal. Um, again, 1911, you can't really go wrong ever. All right, next is we're gonna be shooting an AR-15. This is a Stag Arms AR-15 model. Pretty standard, I mean, in every gun collection, you definitely should have an AR. So, we're gonna go ahead and shoot it here. I'm just having fun for the first time when I don't have to wait three seconds per shot, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, next uh, we're gonna be shooting the PTR-91. Uh, this is basically um, a civilian replica of the G3, HK G3, so we'll shoot this one next. Now these things generally kick like a mule, so these are not my favorite. All right, next we're gonna shoot the M1 carbine. So, this is really small caliber, but definitely fun to shoot. All right, so this is the M1 Garand. So apparently the best way to do this is push this down with your thumb here. I guess that's good enough. That's a classic sound that probably got a whole bunch of uh, GIs killed in World War II, so. All right, next we're shooting a Swiss 6.5. Uh, this is a very interesting rifle. It, it is a bolt action rifle, but it's a straight pull. So only straight pull. You don't have to do a rotating bolt. So kind of interesting. All right, so here we go. Mag load. Forward. Alright, next we'll be shooting the M1A. This is uh, one of the great 308 rifles. So, or 7.2 by 51 NATO cartridge. Put that up. Mm -hmm. 
we're gonna go ahead and shoot the ALS 50. This is a uh, 50 caliber, 50 BMG over an AR-15 lower receiver. Um, so we're out about 800 yards out to target. And of course, so this is probably the highlight of the day here, so. Okay. Again, take down your pin. You now gain access to your whole upper and lower receiver. Take out your bolt carrier, bolt and bolt carrier. Now you have full access to your whole chamber. I mean, that's it. That's all it takes. So again, if I want to take this uh, this rifle apart, you take take down pin, and you gain access to your bolt carrier. Everything's all out. You have access all, all the way right down the barrel. This is the uh, 468 once again, and again, the same way you take it out. Take down pin through the back, bolt and bolt carrier, and you have full access all the way down the bore uh, to clean it. And again, your firing controls are down the lower receiver. Air source is all in the lower receiver. So that means you're just able to switch the upper receiver to change the type of uh, look of the gun, or maybe you want shorter barrel, longer barrel. Maybe you have some sights that are uh, sighted in and you don't want to lose that zero. You want to change upper receivers, you want to change it either between a sniper version and a and an assault rifle, you can do that. You can change, I mean, everything is just upgradable all the way. And again, so this is all it is. So if you have a chop or anything, I mean, this does have come equipped with a lock bolt system. So even though it virtually eliminates, let's say 95% of a chamber chop, it still can happen for whatever reason, you loaded the mag wrong, who knows, what have you. But you can basically access and wipe the whole barrel clean, chamber, all of it. What under 10 seconds, pretty much. I mean, we we did a test here with somebody who had no experience and did about 11 seconds, so without ever practicing. So that's how quick it is to gain access to everything. No tools, no tools whatsoever to get to any part of of your main components. You want to get to your hammer, to your valve, to any portions of it. Just remove the back cap here, take everything out, replace it as you need to, and that's it. I mean, it's really a super simple system. Again, to put it back together, just close it up, and it's ready to rock. Again, it's a platform that really is gonna take us far into the future because of the possibilities that it has, because of what you're able to do with it, and the customization is just outstanding. All mill spec components, so you have hand guards, butt stocks, I mean, basically the whole works. Okay, put that in, that's it. I mean, that's all it really is. And okay, this is the 468. Again, I present to you the 468. Thank you very much.